It's the old saying, food for thought, and for many people, thinking about eating consumes their day. Now, a new study has revealed our obsession with food is like an addiction, with many physically unable to control their cravings. But as Cassie Silver reports, there are ways to kick the habit. I was overloading on everything I could possibly have. All of these messages saying, eat me, eat me, eat me. Food. If you think about it all the time, you're not alone. On average, we make 221 food decisions every day. So from the, would you like a cup of tea or coffee, to the, I'm going to put my hand in the biscuit barrel. Clinical psychologist Ali Dale says many of us are emotional eaters. Our feelings, the driving force behind all of our food choices. How we're nurtured when we grow up, as soon as we feel rotten, we have mum sitting there with, with something to make us feel better and invariably it's, it's some sort of food, some sort of cookie. A recent Australian study found 91% of women comfort eat, using sugary treats and carbs as a crutch to control feelings. As for men, it's 86%, with stress and boredom signals to eat. It never drives cravings for broccoli or for lettuce or for tomatoes. It, it always drives the cravings for carbs or high fat, high sugar type foods. I was um, about 117 kilos. Not doing an awful lot. I was extremely tired. I, I practically ate to get through the day. Perth mum Leslie Alkins says eating for comfort is a vicious cycle. Gee, I look bad. Gee, I feel bad. Well, I've already done it now, so what else can I have? After failing many different weight loss programs over the years, Leslie says she always had food on the brain. I just found that on those programs I was thinking about food all the time. And when you're thinking about food all the time, planning your meals, you're then eating it. Leslie lost 50 kilos by removing the choice. Every day for seven months, the selection was limited to packaged shakes and protein bars on the Cambridge diet. For me, it took away the thinking. I was able to get up in the morning and I knew that I didn't have anything to plan. The biggest planning I had to do was to decide what flavour I wanted. According to Leslie, it meant she started thinking about food less. The weight was coming off, so the compliments were outweighing that. And I felt better, I felt awake, so it was worth it. Most people start a, a weight loss program perfectly in the morning. It's by about three or four o'clock in the afternoon that they're having a whole heap of problems. Ali says majority of people are food obsessed and it's like an addiction. Eating sugary and fatty foods releases natural opioids in our brains, the active ingredients in cocaine, heroin and many other drugs. So the calming, soothing effects you feel when you eat ice cream or chips are real and breaking these habits can be like kicking a drug habit. High fat, high sugar foods in particular act on your brain in a very similar way. Like an addiction, there are steps to kick the habit. Plan your meals to remove decision making. In emotional situations, give yourself a 10 minute cool off period before heading to the fridge. Avoid shopping in the afternoon when your brain is tired, you'll have less willpower. And if you slip up, don't let the guilt eat away at you. Just refocus and you just get back on track. Beating yourself up is what keeps that cycle going, which is what creates significant weight gain. In a recent Australian experiment, a group of dieting women were put into a room with chocolate. All of them indulged in a few pieces. Half of the women were reassured it was just a slip up and don't beat yourself up about it. The other half received no feedback. What happened next even surprised the experts. The group that felt guilty about the slip up, they ate more than twice the amount of sugar than the other group in the 24 hours following the, uh, the initial slip up. I enjoy the, I don't know, there's, there's a, a confidence that comes from being able to say no when you can see people around you that can't say no. As for Leslie, she's kicked her old food obsession and replaced it with a newfound hobby. Where you had the emotional eating to get you through the day, Unfortunately, I now shop because there are so many things I can buy that I just couldn't before. Those tips are on our website. Some welcome relief from the heat on the way for Perth, but not for long. Sam will tell us how it's hotting up again after the break.